Welcome to our first proper dungeon, the Forest Temple. Wouldn't be a Zelda game if we didn't start in the forest. Run away! Run away! Now, Twilight Princess HD does have a little bit of amiibo functionality, and it depends on what amiibo you use. Some versions of the game came with Wolf Link and Midna, but that does something different a little later in the game. One amiibo you can use, and to do this, you just go to your collection slash save. If you have a Ganondorf amiibo, he does something special, and I'm going to activate him for this dungeon. He just goes, Oria, and leaves. He doubles the damage I take. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, he goes, oh yeah, and leaves. <laughs> I thought he was just gonna walk on screen, punch you in the gut, and walk away. <laughs> You'd probably take double damage after that. <laughs> like the intro of Double Dragon or some shit. <laughs> he carries you off. Yeah, he kidnaps you. There are better times to berate me. Yeah, not when a thing is gonna eat my face. <laughs> that was a very doofy walk. Watch your head, monkey. We'll just say you ducked. See ya. This is actually the core mechanic of the dungeon, saving the monkeys. Before you go, I'll take care of the skull -watulas. Those are very small skull Or maybe you're just bigger than you were in Ocarina of Time. Considering you're not a child. Ow. <laughs> I'm glad you mentioned that. Because there's a full-sized one. Okay, so they were babies! Got it. <laughs> Fighting the big size Sculptulas is a little tricky. Mostly you need to actually get them off their guard, but sometimes they can actually block it. Um, um. That is a bombling. It's a bug that explodes. I thought you were just done and wanted to go out in the most expressive way possible. <laughs> well, I have double damage, so this should do. I forget if I've ever said this in a LP before, but it is very funny just referring to, like, mythical or fantasy uh, currency as dollars. So he just found $20 <laughs> hidden in that wall. <laughs> no, goddammit, the door. I, I spaced out for a minute, and I thought you pulled out, like, a leather shield that only covers some of your face. <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, this'll, this'll do nothing for me. Yeah, it, it would have looked more like a wrist guard you wore when skateboarding or something. <laughs> Bridge breaks. Holy shit. <laughs> I'm out of here. <laughs> You were kind of right. Yeah, I just remembered it wrong. Obviously, the monkey wasn't going to fall directly into a cavern. That monkey disturbed me. I didn't like how its head moved. The ass slap was fine. Yeah, the, the ass is a different story. <laughs> Takes out a video camera. Monkey fight? Do it again. I wasn't looking. Okay, you dance around. You're you're just like one. Got to find another way around. Luckily, the monkey can help us. Just need to grab onto her and she tosses us over. Oh, I thought you I thought it grabbed you by your feet. <laughs> <laughs> Cuz you did the roll, so I thought you just kept your momentum going. 
What if when you try to reach out for the monkey, you grabbed it, but you were so heavy that you just pulled it down and you both fell? What? What the hell was that? Are you hey? <laughs> we're looking at a pot. Uh, go back in. No, Jacob, you're gonna watch it in HD. Even the music doesn't know what to do with this thing. Okay, first, uh, ugh. this uh, this might be a you'll never unsee it thing, but I thought its little arm nubs were boobs. No, I saw it too. No, it okay. kind of looked like tiny nipples. I think that is its nipples. Yep, that's its nipples. Link sees them too. Oh, he's not okay with this. <laughs> Interesting. Hey, hey, Miyamoto. Uh, what? Can we get an interview asking what the fuck that was or why you did that? It's not the last nipples we'll see either. Uh, why was it the aesthetic for Twilight Princess? I guess if we're we're grading on a high curve, yeah, it is more mature, but not for the right reasons. Rated T for tits. <laughs> This, this game is just the strange 90s industrial music video of the Zelda series. <laughs> I know exactly what you're talking about. And it killed itself. It was afraid of you. I, I need a key first. <laughs> also, I need whatever is in this little cave. Link is the only character I've ever seen to swim with that stroke. It's a stamp. Well, hey. These were added to the HD version. These were for the Miiverse. It's no longer active anymore, so it doesn't matter, but unfortunately I'm getting them all anyway. <laughs> you just want to stamp, use a stamp all over Hyrule's and people's faces. I mean, it, it was probably active when you recorded this footage. Back in 2016, maybe. Yeah. Definitely. <laughs> yeah, the, the, the Wii U was still a thing. Do you make it a mission to cronk your head on every door? No, but the hitbox is a little funky. Like, you need to have your face in it for it to register sometimes. Well, that was easy. <laughs> and one way you can tell this is the Wind Waker engine is just, despite how everything looks so much more realistic, the animations are still so fast and weird. Yet it doesn't carry over for some reason. Like, it doesn't translate as well. Why is that? Because it looks like they're supposed to have more weight, but they kind of don't. Every bridge I see, I keep thinking they're just going to break. No, <laughs> one direction. If you both pull them apart, it negates. Okay, that one does. <laughs> Much like Miiverse, I think one direction was also a thing when you recorded this. <laughs> <laughs> but did they come out again in HD? <laughs> Uh, depending on what you take of their solo careers, I guess. One more. There he goes. If Monkey can't use hands, Link use head. <laughs> that was our monkey that we were gonna, well... Keep in a cage. <laughs> we're gonna look at. What, even the shit? Oh, oh, I'm glad they didn't patch this, so cool. I remember that from the Wii version, where sometimes I would have run up and I couldn't go anywhere because the branch was too thin. On stairs in general, or that exact staircase? That, that exact, exact, spot. exact staircase, that, that tiny wow. little spot. Wow, kudos to you for remembering that. Because the fact that I saw it happen just exactly the same makes me think that it's very common then. Like, it's not, it's not like a glaring issue, it's just like a, oh, it's a minor nuisance. 
It's not gonna be made into like my top 10 giant Zelda Twilight Princess mistakes or anything. <laughs> It'll be your top 10 minor Twilight Princess mistakes video. <laughs> Which will somehow be 50 minutes long and have a photo of me with a controller being really grumpy and angry. <laughs> I want to see that specifically from you. Be careful with those babas. The red ones will actually keep following you around like piranhas. Whoa. Ah, oh, Christ. That's kind of cool, actually. Fuck, good piece of shit, fuck. <laughs> that should've been a lawn mowing service. I should've been a lawn mower. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, what? We fed it. I don't like its undulation. Cause if you don't, it'll just snatch you up and eat you and spit you out. A lot happened in that animation. Did we get hit? Okay. It very much looks like you were within the blast radius. I really don't know why, but this... Like, this LP has been really fun, but... I'm just now getting the urge to really want to play this game. I don't know why. I mean, maybe because it's good, but... Maybe because we're past the point of the intro. Yeah, maybe. It took the first four parts to actually get to the meat of the game. Right. I mean, the first half is literally just Legends of Zelda Twilight Chores before the princess part comes in. Why is that not the opening? It looks like the opening. Watch out for those things. Whoa. They will knock you on your ass. <laughs> well, you're. I forget, what is the mechanic of your shadow moving around like that? Uh, lighting. Oh, real? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, it was so jerky, I thought that, like, Midna was trying to tell you something. <laughs> uh, that was such a perfect response. <laughs> Okay. Got to light all the torches without getting hit by the the panel worms. <laughs> but there is also a chest hidden behind one of them, so we also got to figure out a way to deactivate the torches. That might have to be for later. Now I can't backflip. No, oh, they don't want you to be too cool. How are you blocking? Yeah, like, with what? You're a, you're a spider! If you hold your legs up, they get chopped off. Maybe this one's ass won't be as gigantic and disgusting. <laughs> get it away! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was wrong. You know, you might be able to guide that. That did not work. You might be able to guide the bombling around a little bit. Because, like, it follows you around, but doesn't start exploding until you hit it. God, that thing has a, dying has a similar rhythm to a cat about to puke. Now, I don't live with a cat, but... I do know how to puke. <laughs> <laughs> well, that too, I was gonna say, but I have seen the dog do everything. You know, you can probably just crawl out of there, right? Cartoon logic, man. You gotta be able to see them, but they can't get out. This isn't really the mini-boss. Yeah, the music's not changing, so I assume so. 
this thing's pretty easy to deal with. Just smack him in the face of it. You know, maybe don't stand right next to it and turn around, exposing your ass for it to eat you. It's more hungry for keys. That makes sense. Ugh. Those lips want some exploding. <laughs> that, that thing looks a bit too buttholey for me. Let's go butthole surfing. Ugh. I very much mind the sun at this time. That was kind of a fucked reference, but you know. I'm glad one of us got it, at least. I got it. The images it showed. Excuse me. <laughs> Ow. Again. Don't yell at me, I'm freeing you. Front and back, monkey party. <laughs> Please no back. Lots of back. Oh, um, so much ace. What? I just wanted one of them to miss. <laughs> That animation is so janky. <laughs> this very much feels like still a game stuck in the PS2 era when it comes to animations. Well, do I have news for you? Well, exactly. <laughs> okay, proper mini boss time. It's the baboon butt. <sighs> Shit. <laughs> Ugh, I hate him. So we saw earlier, when you're on these poles, you can roll into them and they rattle around. So maybe. Aha. Uh -huh. Right in the ass. Ooh. And you know what? That looks like fun. Let's smack him there ourselves. Oh my... Of course his <laughs> ass is the weak spot. Official Nintendo product. It worked out. <laughs> we call that a trade. This thing... I want this character to be unwritten from reality. <laughs> Everything about it makes me uncomfortable. I mean, calling a character is kind of generous. There it was. Oh, he was possessed by a twilight bug. Oh, he's a nice, ugly motherfucker. Who cut a bridge and tried to kill you, but you know. But he's nice. Yeah, but he's nice now. Speaking of nice... Wait for it. There we go, new weapon. Oh, I, I really wanted his head to move very slowly. This boomerang has a fairy within it. We never hear the fairy again. Nope, this is the only time it ever talks. They're trapped in there forever. And we don't care. <laughs> I've been trapped in a toy. But it's the Gale boomerang. This is pretty cool. It's a combination of the usual boomerang plus the actual element of wind. Which does multiple different things. Sort of like the Deku Leaf sometimes. Except we don't really use it like the Deku Leaf, but we do use it to create gusts. And it also brings back the targeting property from Wind Waker. Yep. We can lock onto anything five times. 
this time with Gyro. And you gotta do it a lot because the door gets stuck. Are you fucking kidding me? They just wanted to show that annoying okay. consoles can be done in modern consoles too. And that modern consoles can be annoying. <laughs> I thought that gate was going to raise by that increment every time. <laughs> like, no. you have to do it five times, exactly. <laughs> or you could do it three times, open it, and crawl under. So now, the monkeys have left us behind. So we gotta go around, but with the guild boomerang, we can activate these platforms just on our own. And there's another monkey. I thought we were done with the aces. This temple's all about ass. It really is. I was gonna say, combined with the monkeys and the butthole plants, this is the ass temple, not the forest temple. You'll never see me again! What's up, Spring? Eh? 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 the pragmatic hero. <laughs> Maybe we can get some sort of monkey prize. Ooh. A gigantic turd. Do monkeys know what Christmas is? <laughs> Midna sits a hand on Link's face. I want a monkey Christmas. <laughs> it's just, I, I want that. See you in the water. Midna, I don't know what Christ is. Well, I guess you're gonna have to learn then, huh, wolf boy? <laughs> I guess you're gonna go to hell. <laughs> Midness and Evangelical for some reason. Midna is definitely one of those formerly rebellious Christians. He <laughs> like was a super shit as a teenager. I go to church and listen to Marilyn Manson. I, I thought you were going to say I go to church and listen to marijuana. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, marijuana from Reverend Horton Heat. <laughs> I smoke weed out my ears, don't you kids? <laughs> you only need to do the one that's actually blocking the chest. But I did them all to show it off, because there's a hard piece back there. There's about two hard pieces in every dungeon. I keep thinking of the animation that you do when you open the chest, the, the treasure chest. Is it this game or is it Skyward Sword that has like the black rupee that takes away money? That's Skyward Sword. All right. That was a rupor. <laughs> What'd you call me? <laughs> I called you a rupor, you filthy animal. <laughs> you poor motherfucker. <laughs> Get some cash and come back. <laughs> This looks like an obvious pattern to follow. But it's not, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Jacob, it's Zelda. Oh. It's a Z. It's Zelda Twilight Princess. It's a little light on surprises. The big, the big key, this is the boss key. It's got a pretty cool design. Yeah, I want all my keys to look and size like that. I wouldn't. I would. I need to my fucking set of keys to fit in my pockets. I don't. That's a Marilyn Manson key. Oh hell yeah! Hmm. <laughs> I don't know about that torch. What? <laughs> the fuck was that stance they were doing? Thank you. <laughs> it was just to show the cinematics we could do now. I mean, they could do them in Ocarina of Time. They did them in Ocarina of Time. And somehow the lower polygon enemies looked less ugly. I know you're in here. There you are. Right between the segments. Nice landing. Right in the web. 
Also, the back of those sculptures look a bit more, a bit less like spooky skull, and more a bit more Grim Fandango. <laughs> a little bit. Oh. Right into a spider's mouth. Oh. <laughs> You know, I think the first time would have been fine. They don't have to make you, oh, hello, spider. They don't have to make you watch the cutscene <laughs> every time. Do, 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 do. Hey, I'm in the shot, too. That means I get paid. Yeah, goodbye, cruel world. At least I'm not poor like Jake. <laughs> 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 God, I missed the ability to jump and move forward. See ya. <laughs> <laughs> well, you did just destroy its web. It probably just wasn't looking. <laughs> Time to go home, see my kids, and take a nap. Fuck! <laughs> now let's move on. I forgot to go to the other door. Let's not move on. <laughs> We're missing one more. We're missing two more. A real big bitch. Hey, man. That's all nice. <laughs> hey, man, I'm a solid bitch. <laughs> I work out. I've earned these abs. How did I block and jump attack at the same time? Like a beast. It was pretty impressive. Using your Ham Harry strings. <laughs> <laughs> Ham Harry climbing activate! <laughs> One of these days, the unexpected fast forwards will stop being funny. Today is not that day. I like how you didn't even finish him, you're just like, hey, fuck it, and you went to the door. <laughs> God, it's so brutal. It's alright, it's a good thing my hips still work. I like that you automatically catch it. Oh god, not on the carpet. You got the monkey. No. <laughs> the monkey. <laughs> now for this one, I can't just grab it. I need to actually guide it to the rock. Oh. This was one of those puzzles that when I first did it, when I was when I first played it, I was actually really proud of myself because I'm like, that's so cool. We could do so much Zelda now. And you never do it again. Oh. I'm not excited anymore. See you in the next LP, Jacob. <laughs> yeah, I'm out of here. You guys fucking do the rest of this bullshit. I no longer want to play the game myself. <laughs> Whoa, it looks like it missed me. <laughs> that might be too close. Nope, it's okay. I just want to see Link falling forward right before the camera cuts away. <laughs> Onto the bomb. That was gonna knock you in. Okay, now that I've got the key, I can go into this room. This should be the last monkey. No more of you. So I, I wonder, like, I'm assuming they get under the tiles, but like the tile is stuck to their head too. So do they grow tiles or? No, they're just attracted to them. I can only assume that they're a product of evil. 
Like they were made to be obnoxious like that. <laughs> Either that or they had to go extinct before people started putting tiles in their homes. So what you're saying is Ganon's castle is full of these tiles because he likes watching people spring away. He is particularly enslaved an exterminator for this very purpose. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, I love nice. that. Every every time you do a finishing move, if you put your sword away, he always does it in that fancy motion revealed in the uh, first trailer. It doesn't work if you do it on Bokoblins, but it does work on most other enemies. Because he's just not proud. <laughs> They're not hard. Yeah, exactly. It's like if you, if, if you squish, if you like squish a bug with your sandal and then dramatically put it on, like, <laughs> good. <laughs> good job, big man. <laughs> yeah, I don't do that. <laughs> squish it, show it to Dakota. Look what I did. Whip it back on. It, okay, if I if I squished a bug and showed it to Dakota, they'd smack it in my hand and be like, stop. And I'm like, okay. Next time I squish a bug with a flip-flop, I'm gonna throw it in the air and then, like, do a roundhouse kick to put it on. They gave me a middle finger just because I mentioned it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't drag me into your LPs. It's, it's relevant to our conversation. Into my, my mouth. mouth. Now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm wide open, by which I mean my mouth. Throw me your sword. <laughs> you want to see a neat trick? <laughs> they all just fall as soon as you <laughs> God damn, these fucking monkeys. <laughs> For something I'm not going to miss at all, I sure am going to miss them. Hmm. Before we go in, usually in the pots before the boss room, there's a fairy. Huzzah. So if I lose all my health, I'll have backup. I like to always have at least one fairy in my inventory. So of course, by the end of the game, I'll have too many fairies in my inventory. Okay. Kool-Aid. We don't know how we got here. <laughs> so they're just bigger, these things. Diababa. The other ones were Unababa. Oh. Oh, you do do it more, see? Yep, not really after this dungeon, though. Alright, I'll stick it out for one more episode. <laughs> then after that, say goodbye to Jake. Goodbye, cruel. That was it? Oh, nope. I mean, if that was actually the boss fight, like, I, I wouldn't even shift the game if it were me. <laughs> Ugh. I don't like disjointed jaws like that. Ow! <laughs> what? Oh, it's Huge Ass Man. His name is Hugh Jackman, Jacob. <laughs> <laughs> Hugh Jackman, he's got bombs for me. <laughs> Yo, hello, I was Wolverine. <laughs> I don't know any other Hugh Jackman <laughs> roles. <laughs> I was going to say, he's been in musicals, so the fact that you opened up with that. <laughs> he has? I don't know that. I don't know shit about any movie. Oh dear. 
Yeah. Oh boy, oh boy. Okay. Oh, uh, oh my god. This is only a problem because I actively made this harder for myself. Uh, oh game. yeah. That was a good save. The Ganondorf amiibo is still in effect. Yeah, he's just watching, being like, damn it, he was so close. Come back here. <laughs> Luckily, Diababa is being distracted by the monkey, too. <laughs> ah, splat! <laughs> like, step back, you're gonna get squished. That's a heavy eyeball. Well, I don't want to question the weight of an eye, but now that I'm thinking about it... Well, now he needs a new hat. I always liked the floating squares design aspect of stuff relating to the twilight. Yeah, it looks neat. But there we go, our first fused shadow. <laughs> oh look, a new hat, gimme. Thank you. Actually, it's part one of a series in my hat. <laughs> this one goes in my mouth? <laughs> it's part hat, part spoon. Don't ask which part is the spoon, I forgot. But I'll figure it out. I heard her say arm bread. <laughs> Good job, Yoshi. Get your arms ready. I actually remember that from the first Twilight Princess Let's Play. Good arm bread meat. <laughs> I'm sure there's some 90s industrial music video that has a scene where it's a sandwich, but the bread is replaced with two hands. That's very specific. <laughs> this game gives me very specific vibes. What else is there to do, though, Mid? <laughs> Maybe there are more monkeys to save. Why? Good point. Let's get out of here. Also, the door is locked. I can't leave. <laughs> the only added benefit you get is if you walk and then you just hear against the wall. I guess it's in case you walk up to Minna before you get the art container. Oh, yeah. Good point. But yeah, I'm pretty sure I get everything from the Forest Temple. And even if I don't, I'll, I'll come back for it later. So since I have said I have a sudden urge to want to play this game, I'm just kind of wanting this kind of simple adventure game vibe. Would you say the Wii U version is, like, significantly recommended over the Wii version? Or is it this kinda? They're relatively identical. For the most part, HD has a couple of minor fixes. Like, uh, in the original game, if your wallet was full and you found a rupee in a chest, you didn't take the rupee, you put it back in the chest. Which was fine if your wallet was completely full, but if you had 401 rupees in there, but there was, there was maybe enough room for 500 and you found a golden rupee, it wouldn't take it. Oh. You needed space for the entire rupee. That's annoying. They took that out. All right, because I, I, I typically see both versions at my local game shop. So, you know, one day, maybe I'll pick it up. It seems like with Wind Waker, Wind Waker HD is like bar none the definitive version to play the game. Seems like with Twilight Princess, either way, it will do you good. It does depend on how much of the game you want to be able to literally see, because they toned down the bloom in the HD version, and it looks better. <laughs> Right, there's that. And it has a better frame rate. Yeah. So yeah, I'd say go for the HD version. Okay. And technically, the HD version has both the Wii and the GameCube versions, because with the Wii version, they mirrored the entire game world to cater to people who are right-handed, when the game was originally meant for Link to be left-handed. If you wanted to play the Wii version with it mirrored, you just play the hero mode, because that's what they did. <laughs> it's worth mentioning, I don't know if this has been talked about before in the LP, because we started recording last year, and the last time we recorded was six months ago. <laughs> Hopefully that won't be a problem from here on out. But, I don't know, never say never. Right. 